Now, let's have a look at the Bada UI concept. First, I'll explain the primitive components of the Bada UI and introduce controls and containers. After that, I'll introduce UI event handling and basic controls. First, let me show you the Bada UI layers. A Bada application has a top window called a frame. A form that has a title bar and soft keys is placed on top of the frame. Other UI components are placed on top of the form. Therefore, the core components of a Bada UI are the frame, the form, and the controls that refer to other UI components. Let's have a look at each of these components. First, as I've mentioned, a frame is a window that is automatically generated for each application. The major role of a frame is to contain and show a form on the screen. A form is basically a unit to manage the screens that appear one at a time. The important feature of a form is that it can be configured according to your needs using the optional title bar, option menu, soft key, and tab controls. The major role of a form is to contain and manage other detailed controls. A control can be regarded as a unit of a UI function. For example, a button, slide, text label, and list are all controls. Although some controls can contain another control within themselves, in general, a set of controls perform a function. Now, let's look at the Bada UI coordinate system. In the Bada UI, the top left corner of the screen is the origin point, and each control has dimensions. You can get the dimension of a control as a rectangle by calling the getBounds function, or get the width and height of the rectangle using the getWidth and getHeight functions. Developers can also add controls within other controls depending on the type of control. In this case, the area of a control to which a control can be attached to is called the client area. You can get the client area of a control by calling the getClientAreaBounds function. Like an application template, applications are classified into frame-based applications and form-based applications. Frame-based applications are applications that are used when the user wants to draw a user-defined object in a frame. Therefore, specific UI controls are not added and used. Alternatively, form-based applications refer to applications that add and use UI controls in a form. Since most UI controls can perform their own functions, the details of the UI can be implemented automatically. Okay, let's have a look at the UI control hierarchy in more detail. First, the item at the bottom is the control class. This control class is the base class for all UI classes. This class provides functions to receive user interactions and properties such as the bounds, which are common to all controls, to perform custom drawing and also to handle events. Controls that contain other controls are called containers. Container classes provide functions to manage the parent-child relationship, as well as all the functions of the control. To use a frame, you have to get the frame from the application. To do this, you can get the app frame object by calling the getAppFrame function of the application. You can get a frame from this object by calling the getFrame function. Finally, you can get the frame's canvas object by calling the getCanvasN function, which can be used to draw an object directly on the frame. In most cases, a frame is used to manage a form. You can add a form to a frame using the addControl function. The form that is currently being displayed on the screen can be set from among multiple forms using the setCurrentForm function. Next, I'll show you how to actually create a form. 
basically, you can create a form class by inheriting the form class and implementing the virtual functions. The first function to be overridden when inheriting a form is the construct function that specifies the form style. Generally, both the onInitializing function that is used to initialize a form and the onTerminating function that is called when a form is terminated are also overridden. In the onInitializing function, add and initialize the controls to be added to the form. And if necessary, add objects such as soft keys or tabs that can be used in the form. After that, specify the action ID for each control. Finally, register an event listener for each control to finish the initialization. Then, implement the event listener functions to handle events. In the onTerminating function, return the resources allocated in the onInitializing function or during the program. Although the form class can be directly instantiated, it will not be explained here since it's hardly ever used. Now, let's take a look at how to implement a form that has soft keys. Soft keys refer to the two buttons at the bottom of the screen as shown in the figure. To create a form with soft keys, we have created the form example class as a subclass of the form. The class is also the subclass of the I action event listener so that the event can be handled when a soft key is pressed. The constructor and destructor of the form perform nothing. We have randomly assigned two IDs to the soft keys and declared the two functions on initializing and on action performed to be overridden. So let's look at the on initializing function. In this function, we set the title of the form as my form and set the text of the soft key 0 to OK, and the text of the soft key 1 to cancel. After that, we assign an action ID to each key and add listeners. You can add other controls or perform further initializations at a later stage. If a key is pressed, the onActionPerformed function is called. In this function, we identify the pressed soft key through its action ID and perform the appropriate operation according to which soft key has been pressed. To add this form to the frame, we have created and constructed a form and set this form as the current form in the onAppInitializing function. This part is generally created automatically if you create an application using the application template. The difference here is that we have specified the construct parameters of the form as the ORD values form underscore style underscore title form underscore style underscore soft key underscore zero form underscore style underscore soft key underscore one and also form underscore style underscore indicator. This constructs a form with an indicator area, a title, and the two soft keys. As expected, if we remove the form underscore style underscore title flag from the form style, we create a form without a title, and if we remove the form underscore style underscore indicator flag, we create a form without the indicator.